In today's video, we will continue going over some of the best Blender add-ons that came out recently in the month of August, in addition to updates to the most popular ones that are already used by many artists in the Blender community. Grass Blade. This is a new add-on from B Production, the creator's vegetation add-on. It seems promising too because it brings different plant species that can be used for different projects. It can be used by 3D artists architects and designers whether they want to create something simple or complicated. The good thing is that all these assets can be customized according to your own needs which means you will not be choosing assets only but creating as well to a certain extent. The materials that these assets come with are compatible with Cycles and Eevee. And the secret behind the beauty and the accuracy of these assets is that each one is made with the help of photo scanning combined with professional PBR workflow which results in this high quality. What you will get from the Grass Blade add-on is over 400 assets collected from over 140 different ecosystems of foliage, or what is called biomes. As we said, this add-on does not only give you vegetation or grass assets only, but the ability to customize it to your own needs too. You can do this by customizing these ecosystems of foliage, which means you have a lot of freedom and control. You can actually choose from different categories including fields, clean grass, dry lands, pebbles, flowers, rocky grounds, garden grass, and wild grass. Sci-Fi Robot Mechas Library Add-on This add-on is a library of sci-fi mechas, weapons, and spaceships that come in a pack with 25 high-quality sci-fi models. This can be helpful for those looking for an easy way to quickly add these types of assets in their scenes to create VFX shots, animations, or video games. These models come with five different textures including diffuse color, emissive, metallic, roughness, and normal. In addition to that, each one of these models has different animations depending on whether it is a mecha or spaceship. These animations include moving forward, moving backward, running, shooting missiles, idle position, and more. Overall, you will get 25 high-quality sci-fi models, models that are fully rigged and animated with PBR textures, you will get 125 PBR materials and you will get them in the 4K resolution. In addition to that, you will get 14 different animations and 24 high dynamic range images in 4K. True Terrain Update True Terrain is an add-on that contains a fantastic set of asset packs for creating different kinds of environments for your projects. With this add-on, you will be able to get more than 110 materials from PBR rock materials, ground materials, and more. And you will be able to get them in different resolutions from 1K to 4K. In addition to that, you will get different rock systems comprising of 60 plus models. Furthermore, you will get 4 tree particle systems and 8 grass species that contain more than 50 assets. And if this is not enough, you have the ability to create procedural materials or bring your own material library or 3D assets. Furthermore, you have dust creation, snow creation, and water creation using a single plane and a procedural water shader. True terrain is great for many reasons, but if you haven't noticed yet, it is one of the few Blender add-ons for terrain creation, shading, foliage systems, tree systems, rock systems, and water creation in addition to the ability to scatter those assets just in one place. A new version of transportation add-on. This add-on basically can be great and easy to use for creating highly realistic shots including vehicles. We all know that creating cars, trucks or planes is at least going to take you days. In addition to that, common tasks like vehicle rigging and animation can certainly be tedious. Transportation add-on is great if you want to save your time and money on these kind of projects. It is a library that contains more than 65 high-quality models of vehicles of all kinds. Vehicles such as trucks, sport cars, SUV cars, airplanes, motorcycles, bicycles, public transportation, and more. In addition to that, there are 70 car paint shaders, 70 high dynamic range images, and more than 320 back plates, which is just amazing. Transportation version 3 that came out recently will give you the opportunity to have 5 new different types of vehicles that can enrich the library even more. Cable Raider Add-on Update As the name suggests, if you want to create cables in Blender, you can use this fantastic add-on for creating cables easily and in a very short period of time. It has different features and tools that can be more than enough to create all sorts of cables and manipulate them as you please. 
Recently a new update was released and it came with interesting additional features. You can now simulate the cables, one or as many as you want, while at the same time maintaining the number of curve points you decide to use. In addition to that, you can lock some curve points in place for convenience. In addition to that, the new update comes with the ability to create mass between cables, then you can simulate everything in between. Furthermore, you have improved and more precise helpers. These are the points that you use to control curves within your cables. I personally think that the new addition is impressive because it allows you to have way more control over how your cable looks like and the shape you want them to take. Traffic add-on update. Traffic is an expanding library of vehicles that is mostly comprised of cars for now. These vehicles are realistic and of high quality. What you will get with the add-on is traffic-related assets for architectural visualization, environmental design, and for rendering streets in addition to other scenes. With the latest release, which is Traffic 1.3, you have car rigs with custom operators for wheels and path animation, in addition to added new operator and a new color change in user interface. Furthermore, you have 16 new assets. These assets include 6 benches, 2 boundary stones, a bus stop, an electric pole, a parking machine, a ticket machine, 3 manhole covers, and an automatic bollard. In addition to that, the developers worked on some bugs. Animax add-on updated. Animax is a procedural animation system for Blender, useful for animating multiple objects, and it allows you to create complex animations that are hard to achieve using Blender's built-in animation tools. To clarify, the animation is procedural, but it is possible to keyframe a lot of parameters for complex animations. Using this add-on, you can create some interesting animation effects, like making objects dissolve, explode, or transition from an object to another, which is great for motion graphics work. Overall, it is a fantastic add-on that is used by many, and I highly recommend it if you want to check it out. K-Cycles X This is a super fast custom build for Cycles X render engine. It allows you to speed up your Cycles X rendering speed up to double. It has many remarkable features that make it very interesting for many artists, even those who don't use Blender. Jerry Perkins, aka Master Zeon, the creator of Heart Ops and Box Cutter, said about it K Cycles provides an alternative way to utilize the power of RTX in ways vanilla cycles cannot. From the moment you begin rendering with it, you will notice an immense difference in speed and performance. I am proud of the work that has gone into optimizing such a classic renderer. Even in the post EV work, Cycles can prove itself competitive and given a result that can't be matched. And with Kai Cycles, you will get there in a fraction of the time. Chip Walters, the creator of KitOps, in addition to many other add ons, said about it Most will tell you I almost always render in EV, but not anymore. I can't believe the speed increases I'm now having with Kai Cycles. It is a must have for any serious Blender artist. If you are interested in these add-ons, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.